Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. I hope you're all doing really, really well. For anyone who's new, my name is Jenna, and I think that this is the first time in probably like a year that I'm starting a vlog in the evening. I think I did it during Vlogmas, not this past one, the one before that, so more than a year. And I got back into the city this morning, or was it this? No, it was, it was this afternoon, and if you guys saw my last vlog, I was mentioning that my family was coming into the city and we were just going to have a nice little lunch together and my mom and my one sister had not seen my apartment yet so they came to see it and everything was ready thank god amanda was not here and so i kind of like ran upstairs with my bags and like you know threw some things away not actually like away but i like hid some things that were laying around in my room and everything else was pretty organized so that was good obviously i wanted to look presentable when people are seeing it for the first time even if it's just my family so that was really nice we went to little frankie's for lunch and it was so good as always and then we just came back here did a little closet clean out i have a lot that i need to list on poshmark so hopefully i can get to that this week so yeah welcome back to the channel everyone i am sounding a little bit stuffy because i sneezed like probably 19 times in the past two days I don't know what has happened. Obviously, it's springtime, but I feel like it's so late in the spring season for me to be, like, getting allergies, but I am getting them, so that's why I sound like this. So, it is currently... What time is it? 9.33. I am going to show you guys a little Zara haul, which I've never done a Zara haul at night or in my pajamas with no makeup on. So, this is going to be a very, like, casual sit-down. I'm going to show you guys what I got in my most recent order and we're just gonna like run through it in a very chill manner. I think I'm gonna make a little cup of tea just to kind of help my throat a little bit because I am a little bit like scratchy and dry too. Um, <laughs> I just want to show you guys the time and I saw these two things. So my sister just got back from Italy with her fiance and his family and she got us these cute little lemon ornaments. I thought that that was adorable and um, she got me and my sister the smaller size because we have baby Christmas trees So I thought that that was so thoughtful and cute and the other thing is this Weird situation that I'm sure if you guys saw it you'd be wondering but basically I've had this bottle of Kiehl's lotion I saw that the um like the lifetime on it is 12 months. This is definitely like three years old and I'm so embarrassed to be sharing that with you guys, but um, I'm like near the end of it. I mean, it's a huge bottle of lotion and I did not keep up with it over the past few years. So that's why it's still here, but it's the best lotion ever and it's kind of expensive. So I was not going to waste a drop. So I literally, and I don't condone this cause it's probably really unsafe, but I was going to cut it with scissors, but we have a really sharp knife in the kitchen and I just kind of like cut open a little piece and then there's still so much left inside. Like I actually cannot just like pump out whatever's left over I have to like open it to see because I literally got an entire like body's worth in there and I'll probably get like a couple more if it's not dried out by tomorrow morning so um that explains that so yeah we're just gonna have a chill little night together Amanda is either coming back tonight late or tomorrow early so I'm planning on going to bed pretty early it's like I said and I already forgot it's 9 36 and I just want to do a quick little haul with you guys, maybe do my nighttime skincare. And then I want to wake up super early to go to the gym because I have to get that in before work. And my boyfriend is actually abroad right now with his family. And so he's going to be up by the time I'm up, which normally is not the case. It's usually the other way around because I wake up super early. Um, but it'll be nice to wake up at like 6 a.m. and have someone to chat with because <laughs> I know most people probably aren't up at that time. So... We're just going to have a nice little chill night at home. Make sure you guys are subscribed. I would love to have you on my channel. And I'm just having so much fun like uploading and filming vlogs for you guys. So definitely make sure you're subscribed. Okay, so I've just grabbed all of the Zara stuff that I recently ordered and fixed up my bed a little bit because my sisters were laying on my pillows and I had to fluff them. Um, but I also just wanted to mention these pajamas that I didn't even tell you guys about. So I unboxed these when... I got back from being at home today and I ordered these from Topshop off of ASOS. They are the cutest pajamas ever. They have this little ruffle on the sleeve. They're kind of like, they're not an eyelet because they don't have any like holes in them, which I actually kind of like, but they're this like purple floral pattern and then they have these like kind of like dots on them, which 
I love and the shorts are like even cuter I wish I I mean you guys saw them in the first clip But I can't believe I didn't mention those two guys because these are like my new favorite pajamas and I just feel like so Kind of like put together if that makes sense, but I just think that they're really really cute. So Anyway, let's get into the Zara stuff. This first item that I have here is a pair of linen trousers, and I don't know if they're 100, yeah, they're 100% linen, which is actually really, really great. I don't think I have the price on here, but I can now look things up on my phone while I'm talking to you guys because I have a camera now to vlog on. So these are the linen palazzo pants, and they are $70, and honestly, my sister had purchased these. I had at the same time purchased them for my mom because she was looking for like more chic and elevated pieces. She says she wants to dress a little bit more like ladylike and so I had picked these out for her and then when I saw my sister wear them, so we were down the shore, I placed an order, my sister then came down later that day wearing the exact pants that I just ordered for my mom and then I wanted to order them for myself. So we have these like wide leg palazzo pants, they have this sort of like double layer on the um, hem here which I think is a really pretty detail and to me that just makes them look a little bit more expensive when you have those added little elements to it and then there's an adjustable drawstring so if you're someone who wants to wear them super comfy to the beach and stuff you can size up and then um, just tighten them with the drawstring which I love I don't know why people ever put a faux drawstring on pants that doesn't make sense to me but anyway 100% linen really nice like wide leg fit and they're just super comfortable I was wearing my mom's over the weekend and I was like I cannot wait to film the Zara haul so that I could tell you guys about them so Definitely highly recommend these if you guys are looking for a pair of like casual linen pants Obviously, they're not going to be as like formal if you were wearing linen trousers, but really really nice option The next piece that I have is actually something that when the box came I was going to the rodeo event if you guys saw one of my recent vlogs and I didn't know what I was wearing I was in a rush and I pulled this dress out and I was like, okay easy enough and you guys know that I love to add in pieces to my wardrobe that are just super, like, carefree and just don't require any thinking. And I feel like sometimes, like, fashion can get frustrating because you want to make sure that the pieces of the outfit all coordinate together with each other. But at the same time, sometimes you're literally just in a rush and you need something practical. And this dress was perfect for that. So it kind of has this eyelet um, kind of top and then the eyelet is also on the hem as well and it's this poplar material so very elevated and really really chic but at the same time like super casual you can dress this up and down I would wear Veja sneakers with this I wore my espadrilles when I went to the event and it looked super cute and summery so I know that black isn't necessarily a summer color obviously but it's just a very nice lightweight fabric and then because it's a nice and like strappy open work fabric. It just looks really nice and like flowy and light for the summer. So I've already worn this and I will continue to so you guys will definitely see that in future videos. And then the next piece of clothing that I have is a pair of white jeans. And I think I had spoken to you guys about my white jean phobia in the past, but I wanted a pair of white jeans, but I didn't want to get a pair that was going to scare me away from wearing white jeans, if that makes sense. So I went with this kind of like baggy soft denim style and I could not be happier with them. I wore them today to lunch with my family and I wore like a cropped eyelet top and it just was a really nice like fitting pair of denim. My sister was like, where'd you get those? <laughs> and I think we were like caught up in conversation and I didn't end up answering her by accident and then later in the day. I like bent down to get something in my apartment and she literally like took the back of the pants and like saw the tag and she was like, oh, they're from Zara. And I was like, oh yeah, sorry. So really, really good pair of denim. My sister already wants them. And the fit is just very, very like relaxed, I would say. I wanted something that was gonna look really casual because I feel like white jeans is something that like tries to make things look dressier, but I'm like at the same time it's denim. And I pictured myself wearing this with like a striped blue button down like any sort of like poplin shirt on the top with like a racer neck tank underneath or if you have like a blouse that you want to wear like jeans and a nice top to dinner then these would look really really cute with a pair of heels so really happy with these I'm no longer afraid of white denim because of this pair of jeans <laughs> it just sounds so dramatic sometimes um, okay so next we have a couple more linen pieces and this pair of trousers I tried to get things that were 
kind of in the same family but different enough from each other because I feel like I don't want to have two pieces of clothing. I never normally buy things in two different colors if it's the same article of clothing because I just feel like there's so many things out there in the market that I just want to kind of expand and the only thing I really do it with is like basics like tank tops and things. But I wanted to get a pair of black linen pants. So I ended up going with this more trouser style of pant and again this is similar to the white ones but at the same time they don't have that thicker section at the bottom. They are a tailored piece so they do have a button and a zip with belt loops which is a really good detail too if you want to wear like a black tank top tucked in and then have a belt I think that that would look really chic and kind of like super easy to do an all black look when you have these sort of like details on the pants and I know that belt loops should just be like a given sometimes but a lot of pants that I've seen and a lot of trousers that I've seen do not have belt loops so anytime that they do have them I'm like super excited about it because I have belts that I love and sometimes I just can't wear them only because the pants just weren't made with belt loops so anyway um, really nice and lightweight linen is my favorite fabric for the summer and I kind of want to do like a full linen collection of every single linen piece I have in my wardrobe because I feel like that is the ultimate capsule wardrobe when it comes to summer and I'm definitely going to film a summer capsule wardrobe at some point but I just feel like if you don't know where to start just start with linen start with a linen button down start with some linen pants um, Amazon also has really good options for linen pants too so tons of different places that you can get it at different price points and they're just really really good classic basics so really excited about these and then this piece I actually don't even think that this is all linen and I will let you guys know my hesitation with this jacket. So I picked this up separately. It's only 68% linen. So I picked this up separately than the rest of the order. And my problem with it is that it is $170. And I'm like, Zara, in what world are you charging that right now? I know that they're making moves to have like better quality and more sustainable products, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't think you're $170 worth yet. So, and like for example, this thread is sticking out the side. I know it's literally just something that could be pulled out, but I'm like, we need to, I don't know. I'm trying to be practical about it. I also don't know that I wanna spend $170 on a jacket that I can only wear in the spring and summer just because we don't get too much spring and summer weather in New York City. So, I got the jacket in a size small, and it's kind of this bomber style. And I saw it at the front of the store, and I was like, why are there so many of these? Like, that's such a cute piece. And then I looked at the price and realized it was because it was as expensive as it is. But anyway, we have um, just like snap buttons that go down the front that are concealed, so they don't have the hardware on the outside, which I personally love i think sometimes are ruins some of their pieces with the hardware that they choose and so the fact that these are kind of like hidden is a huge plus for me we also have some like stitched around pocket details here so you could see the stitching on the outside which i think is cool and then you obviously have a real pocket there um elasticated at the bottom here but then i like that the sleeves are not because i feel like the elasticated um, portion of a bomber makes it look super casual, but then leaving the sleeve open makes it look a little bit more elevated. So I really like the different details of this. I just don't know in general if I want to spend $170 on something from Zara or just on a jacket in general, because like I said, I just don't think it's that practical for me, but I'm really trying to think of cost per wear and how many times I would wear this and Maybe if I style it a few different ways and know that I will definitely get the use out of it, then I will keep it, but that's where we're at with this piece right now. Okay, then I need to show you guys the cutest little <laughs> the cutest little thing ever. And my mom was here today, as I mentioned, and she looked at it and was like, what is that? And I was like, I know it's like stupid, it's like kind of impractical. And she ended up having the opposite reaction. She thought it was adorable, so I have this little basket bag and honestly I don't like the way that it looks when I'm just holding it but I walked up to the mirror and I put it on the crook of my arm and like I don't know why this whole like action made me want to keep it for a second but I was like I kind of want to keep it and the reason why I wasn't going to is I thought that it didn't fit my phone so I guess we can kind of test that out together. So we do have a long strap, which is really, really nice to have because you can wear it obviously 
with the little handle. <laughs> and then it's just so stinking cute, I can't stop laughing. So my phone fits, but it doesn't fit to the point where I could put the lid on the top. So I feel like that would kind of bother me just because I picture myself wearing this with like really lightweight fabrics or dresses and I don't have any other place to put my phone. So I would kind of have to like hold the bag and then hold my phone and I feel like this does not look Parisian. Um, but the bag alone does look Parisian. So it's a cute little basket bag. It's $70, I think. Oh, it's $60, which I think isn't too bad for something like this. But again, like cost per wear, I don't know that I would get so much wear out of this. So that's kind of what is deterring me. But I feel like she's really cute. And I love that it's a white and rattan combination just because I wear a ton of white in the summer. Or even if I was wearing all black, I feel like this would be a really cute bag to contrast that. Um, but I just feel like white in general matches my like summer patterns and things a little bit better. And I need to show you guys my, what my drawer looks like right now because... It's like one color palette, and I feel like this would look so cute with all of those things. So we're trying to resist, but as you guys can hear as I keep talking about it, I just want to keep it. <laughs> just because looking at it is cute. I know it's not functional. Like, someone needs to comment and tell me to not buy this, or not to keep it, because, like, what am I going to use this for? I don't know. I just don't know. Okay, so the last piece from Zara that I feel like I've been falling off the bed as I'm vlogging, but the last piece that I have to show you guys is actually something that... I wanted to wear to, and I, like my sister's getting married next March. I don't know if I told you guys that, but um, she's getting married and we have events to go to obviously for that. So we have a bridal shower, we have a rehearsal dinner. And I don't know what the vibe is for either of them. We don't know what the theme is for the bridal shower, but I saw this dress and I thought that it looked really, really expensive. And it was mainly because of this kind of like, structured and ru like rigid silhouette so on the model it kind of like flares out a little bit and the fabric looks really thick which it actually is it's a very nice quality fabric and I like the structure in it I feel like it reminds me like very much of like Dior tailoring and so I just grabbed it because I pictured myself wearing this with like a little like low bun updo with some pieces pulled out at the front and then a red lip I don't know what it is but I feel like a red dress with a red lip is the most like classy and classic look and I don't know so that's kind of my vision for this and obviously I don't know that I could definitely keep it because the wedding is so far out and it's going to be in the winter time and I was picturing wearing like a black dress with tights if it was gonna be short just so that I didn't have my legs out in the middle of February especially since or it's gonna be like almost March so I know that I'm not normally tan around that time I'm probably gonna have to like self tan or go and get a tan somewhere, who knows, but I'm like trying to be practical about it and I feel like we're just a little bit too far out for me to be buying something like this. Um, but I'm also trying to like think if I could wear this to a friend's wedding or something. So anyway, lots of indecisiveness in this haul. So it's a good thing I didn't make this a dedicated video because you'd be like, okay, you just bought all this stuff and you're contemplating keeping half of it. So um, yeah, those are my thoughts. I will link everything down below with the sizes that I picked up as well. And it's now 10 p.m. I feel like my voice was fine because I was not vlogging over the past couple of days. I took two days off and I hated it. <laughs> I honestly like wanted to like pick up my camera, but I physically left it in New York City so that I would take a break. And now my voice is like starting to sound a little bit worse. So I think I'm going to make a cup of tea. Um, get my skincare routine going and then we will get settled in for bed I need to like light a candle and make it all relaxing in here because I think I want to read Before I actually go to sleep. Okay, so this is the drawer that I wanted to show you guys and I kind of reorganized it earlier today, but This is the color palette. I was talking about with the rattan bag. So I basically have like this whole like Sunset kind of color palette going on right now. Most of the stuff is from revolve like I have my floral bodysuit this little cropped ruffle top. I wore this knit. You guys didn't see my outfit when I went to Emilio's Bellotto, but this is what I wore. It's like the knit that has the little button in the front. Um, this one's actually from last year. I absolutely love this top. I think the pattern is so pretty with like denim or white jeans like I showed you guys before. I have this little knit crop and just a couple more like warm toned things. And this is so unlike me. This is probably the only place that you'll see a color and the only season that you'll see color <laughs> in my wardrobe, but I'm actually really loving this and I think it looks really cute together. Um, but now I'm like picturing myself wearing the little basket bag with all of these tops and I'm like, 
should we keep it? I don't know. I don't know that I want to spend 70 or $60 on something that I'm not sure that I'm going to use because it just sounds a little bit too impracticable. Impracticable. That's literally not a word. <laughs> impractical. Um, but we'll see. I will let you guys know what I decide on that. Okay, so I have you guys propped up on the tripod on the toilet. So this is like the weirdest. Oh, we already have things falling out. Um, this is the weirdest angle and I have the bath mat hanging behind my head. <laughs> but I'm going to do my tanning routine for my face with you guys because I feel like I always talk about my tanning drops, but I never actually like show you how I use them. Not that it's like a crazy thing and I'm super late on this train and I don't even know where they are. Where did I put them? Okay, it looks like I am going to stay pale because I cannot find my tanning drops, which is a huge problem because I was really excited to have a little glow, but I guess we're just gonna do moisturizer and because I'm not doing the tanning drops, I'll do my retinol instead. So it's actually a retinol night anyway, so this kind of worked out, I guess. Just really wanted to be tan, you know? Okay, so the moisturizer I just use is the La Citan. Just gonna show you guys because we all know that I was told how to say this, but I say it wrong anyway. And I don't know how to say the rest of this, but that's what the container looks like. I really like the consistency of this one and I've tried tons of different moisturizers. Some of them are like more thin and like jellier, but this is um, more of like a thick and rich cream. Like you can kind of see that it's like this creamy color on the inside as well. Um, and then over the top of that, I think we're just going to go straight ahead with the retinol because I honestly just want to like get into bed and read. So I don't want to do an extensive um, skincare routine. So I take, it says to take a pea sized amount, but I take like a generous pea size. <laughs> because I think that my skin's pretty much used to it at this point and I don't use it too frequently. So I kind of just dot it on the different parts of my face and you can rub this in as if it were like a lotion, which I love and that's why I really enjoy this product because it just feels less scary than me using like, you know, retinol, which I feel like when it first came out, like my mom started using it and it was this like big thing and you had to be careful with it. And I feel like there are so many products out there now that make it like safe enough for like normal people like me to use it without the instruction of a dermatologist, which is fantastic because, you know, Americans don't like aging. It's like our biggest fear apparently. So we just want to make sure we prevent that at any cost. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. I have like an opposite, um, view on aging that probably the rest of the country does. I'm sure there are other people that think the same way that I do, but I just, I don't know. For some reason, I'm not afraid of it. And maybe it's because I'm still in my 20s. So I haven't really had to worry about aging yet, but we'll see. I'll let you guys know in 30 years. Okay guys, so it's around 10.30. I've just been reading a little bit before I go to bed to kind of decompress and relax before I go to sleep. And yeah, I will see you guys bright and early for a workout tomorrow morning. Good morning guys. It's 6.26, a little bit later than I had wanted, but I'm dressed for the gym and I am really excited to go and get a workout in before I start this week, start this day. Um, I am one of those people, I mean, yesterday was a holiday, so today's Tuesday, and so today's, like, technically the first day of the week, and I am the type of person who likes to go and, like, get a bunch of stuff done on the first day. I'm not, like, easing into it, being like, oh, well, it's a Monday. I feel like I need to set myself up so that I'm productive for the rest of the week. So, I am wearing a Lululemon set. I have to be honest, I don't really own a lot of Lululemon. I have this sports bra, um, my voice is cracking, so it's because it's early um and I have a pink one and a like really light purple one and then for leggings these are the only pair of leggings that I own from Lululemon and I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of a little bit of a snob about Lululemon because 
These are the most comfortable. I mean, I'm wearing the Align leggings right now. I do want to try the Wonder Train because I heard that they're really good for working out and they're a little bit more rigid than these, but it just feels like I'm wearing pajamas, especially if I'm waking up at 6 to go to the gym. That's already something in my head that's not the most desirable um, because I do like working out, but I'm not very, or I used to not be very consistent with it, but now I'm getting better at moving my body around like three or four times a week. Um, my voice is really cracking with these allergies. So, um, the bra that I have on is like the tea back bra and I feel like it's always, um, available. This is the only like shorter one that I have. The other two are more long line and then the leggings, as I mentioned, are the Align leggings. So I'll link both of these for you guys. I get both in a size, so the leggings are a size 4, and I think the sports bra is also in a size 4. So I'm going to wear this, it's 54 degrees, so I'm going to throw on this little crew neck that I have here that says Jesus is King. I forget where this is from, but I can link it for you guys because I think it's still available. And then I also have um, my Anina Bang New York City hat. Then I was going to show you guys what I pack for my gym bag, so I kind of laid everything out, but then realized this is probably boring for you, but if you wanted to know what's in my gym bag, I bring my little water bottle, which I actually need to rinse out before I leave. I always, always need to have on like some sort of lip product when I'm working out. I don't like working out with dry lips. I feel like it makes me like, I don't know. So this is a Laneige container, but there's actually Aquaphor in here because I finished the Laneige mask a couple days ago. Then I have my little badge to log in. This is my gym lock because I actually am one of those people that bring one. Pair of AirPods, but there's really only one in here. <laughs> Um, house keys and my wallet. So I'm going to put all this in a small little tote bag and possibly with my vlogging camera. If not, I'm just going to take some clips on my phone um, and then we'll head out the door. Okay, so I'm back from the gym and I just made myself a quick little smoothie. This is strawberries, bananas, peanut butter, um, blueberries, and two scoops of vanilla protein powder. Came out really, really good. I wish I put a little bit more ice in it, but it will definitely do. And then I'm cutting up all of my fruit that is starting to go bad and put it in the freezer. Same thing with the blueberries. I think I can get a couple more days out of those, but I just don't want to risk it because some of them were getting a little mushy and I don't like wasting any of the fruit that I buy, especially since I wasn't here for a few days. I feel like I definitely won't be able to finish all of this. So I kept one banana in the fridge that I can use for um, like a rice cake and peanut butter for tomorrow morning. But the rest of this I'm going to freeze so that we don't have to waste it. And the strawberries are already in there because those went bad so quickly. And I'm not sure if it's because they're actually organic or if... They were already starting to go bad when I bought them, but either way, I used some in my smoothie this morning and I was able to save some more and I put some in the fridge. I mean, in the freezer. So I'm going to finish bagging this stuff up and then I'm going to get ready for work. Okay, so I currently have you guys in the bathtub right now um, on the tripod. Ooh, almost dropped all of my makeup into the garbage can. That would not be a fun way to start off the morning, but I just body showered quickly. I'm back in my little hoodie and I'm just getting ready. I probably should have just put my robe on, but um, we're going to go with this instead. So I'm just doing a quick little makeup routine, nothing crazy, and I actually have some work updates for you guys. So um, first I'm just using the Soft Set Glow Drops, or Soft Focus Glow Drops from Rodeal. This is like a primer, and I've been using this. For the past couple days, actually before I left to go home, and it just looks like really nice and glowy as a base to any like tinted moisturizer or products that I'll use of that nature. And I think I am going to do tinted moisturizer just to feel a little bit more put together. Again, it is technically like a Monday for me, so anything I can do to feel like more put together and productive, I will definitely do it. So this is the Light Wonder Foundation from Charlotte Silbury. And I'm just going to dot this all over my face and then blend it in. So, with work, I had a meeting on, was it? It was Friday of last week. Um, and 
my boss had let me know that we are going back to, or not back to, I guess it's been a long time coming. So basically on our floor at work, we had customer service, HR and us, which is the um, kind of like operations side of things. And it was crowded. Um, I don't have a desk, for example, and I was going into the office like two or three times a week and honestly it kind of dwindled down to one because first reason is that they're doing construction on the 8th and ninth floor so at any point in time there could be banging while I'm in the apartment, I mean while I'm in the office and to be honest I don't know what's more annoying is these pigeons outside my window when I'm working from home or being in the office and listening to the construction going on but it's not like super consistent so I guess being in the office would be better but I don't have a desk, so I don't have a place to keep any of my stuff. Like, I have a bottle of lotion that I wanted to leave there, and just small things. Like, I'm a freak, and I bring my computer keyboard, like the wireless one, and my wireless mouse every time I go to and from the office, because that's what I use at home, and I only have one, and there's no place in the office for me to keep one if I were to want to do that. So, um, that was kind of the reason that was deterring me from the office, was just because of that, and also... Because there's not a lot of space, all of the desks are kind of filled up, and that means that there are like a good amount of people in a small amount of space, and it's just a little bit distracting. And I just feel like I am trying to get obviously my work done, but I have this like thing where I feel like I'm being rude if I'm not talking with everyone or if I'm not like contributing to the conversation. So that's kind of a challenge that I faced because. I obviously am going to work to get my work done, but I also want to like still be a part of the culture and you know make sure that I'm involved like socially if that makes sense. But things have changed a little bit. So the client services building or the team has moved to a new building and we might have to start working out of there soon because they're gonna start construction on our floor next after they're done with the top two floors. And so basically I'm thinking it's because since they moved out, we have a lot more space and I found out that I'm getting a desk, which I'm so excited about. I'm already like thinking of things that I can bring today so I could just leave it there and not have to worry about bringing it back and forth. Um, I am going to request a keyboard and a mouse because I can actually keep it there because the desk that I was using uh, didn't have one so I was just bringing it back and forth but obviously I would prefer to be able to leave one in my apartment but also if I'm only working from home one day a week now I'm like, do I even need the keyboard and mouse? I definitely need the mouse, actually. I shouldn't say that. Um, oh my gosh. This banana low lighter underneath my concealer is stunning. Where is it? This is the first time I'm using it as a base. I used it as like a quick little five minute. Wow. Okay, so the banana low lighter from Rodeal, that's what I used on the base, sorry for my dirty be dirty beauty blender. And then I use the Huda Beauty concealer on top. It's such a good pair. I'm gonna put my powder on over the top of it and see how this wears throughout the day. And hopefully I remember to update you guys. And if I don't, leave a comment so that I tell you in another vlog because this looks really nice right now. Like the combination of all these products. I feel like I'm not someone who just sticks to one brand. I do have a lot of Charlotte Tilbury products though. Um, but I feel like I have a good combination of things that work really well for me. And this is like, you know, I love a good blush combo, but this concealer combo is really, really good. Oh, this is a little messy. So yeah, what that means for you guys, I don't even know if I like officially announced, but we are going to a four day in office, one day at home schedule. And Avery's company is doing the same thing. So I feel like a lot of places are moving in this direction and honestly, as much as I'd want to complain about it because I love being able to be home and like film vlogging clips in between and film styling videos and hauls during my lunch breaks and all that stuff, I feel like this is normal life, unfortunately. I mean, it's not unfortunate for me. I don't really mind going into the office and I have a pretty good commute, so I am very, very lucky. But, you know, I've also done the really rough commute. I was going back and forth between New Jersey and New York City. Like I was paying for a place and I was going to New York every, I mean, I was going to New Jersey every single day to go to work and I wasn't allowed to work from home at all. So I feel like this is the flip side where I was able to work from home whenever I wanted to and I really got to enjoy this apartment. I'm only in it for, we just started June. Okay, so it's May 30th today, but 
it's basically June. So we have June, July, August, and then I'm really going to start looking for an apartment in August and September because my lease is up October 1st. So <laughs> I have like three more months in this apartment and that makes me really, really happy and sad because I adore this apartment. I love having Amanda as my roommate. She is the best and I'm so happy that I got to live with one of my best friends. And so it's just like a lot changing, but I feel like I got the experience of like a really difficult commute and not really being able to be in my apartment or being in the city at all. And now I like live and work in New York City, which was my dream. And I got to work from home a ton. I got to explore my neighborhood a really like in depth. I feel like there were places that I still wanted to go to when I was living in Chelsea. And now it's like, I feel like I've gotten the full experience, which I'm so happy and grateful for. And now we have this like new transition of me going into the office four times a week. So I will not be able to vlog as much as I normally do during the week. We could do something like this where it's like a nighttime vlog into the next morning and then I can do like the same amount of vlogs. But honestly, I don't want to compromise my uploading schedule because I've gotten into such a routine and I feel like it's just <clears throat> something that I really enjoy doing that I don't want to give up. But I will have to readjust myself and kind of work with my new schedule. So I think it's pretty obvious, but I would want to work from home on a Monday or a Friday. So we could technically just do like weekend vlogs and like a styling video on the weekend and then I'll upload those during the week. Um, but yeah, just letting you guys know there's a little bit of a change in my schedule. So bear with me if the vlogs are either coming out on different days or maybe there's two a week instead of three or something like that. Um, that's why. So yeah, we're just rolling with the life changes and I am actually totally okay with it. And yeah, so there are going to be some changes. Hopefully I'll just go back to my old schedule where I was, you know, in the office every single day and I was just vlogging on the weekends and um, uploading for you guys. So I think it was three times a week, which is kind of crazy, but I think we can keep up with it. Um, but that means that you guys definitely need to come through with your recommendations. I've had a couple so far. One of them is coffee shops in New York City, which I'm way ahead of you. I've been filming as I've been going to the different ones that I love and there's one more that I want to put on the list. So I'm just waiting until I go there. Maybe tomorrow morning I have to see what time it opens. But um, once I film that one, we will be good to go. And I will have that up for you guys soon. And then I think someone else asked for a styling video, but I don't remember. So make sure you guys are flowing in with any of the requests that you guys have so that when I'm filming on the weekends, I can just like make it really easy and just already have a plan. Um, otherwise I can just kind of make up like outfit styling videos and things like that if that's what you guys are enjoying anyway. So that's the update. I'm done with my makeup. I feel like this is basically what I do every day, but I did put on tinted moisturizer and I used the banana low lighter and the primer. So I'm feeling like it's looking really nice and light and summery. And now I'm going to get dressed. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing because I do get requests on like um, workwear outfits and I feel like I don't share them enough. So I've just gotten dressed for work. My espresso is now chilling while I just get the last of my things put together and then I'm gonna get my coffee to go and bring it with me. I am really trying to not spend money on coffee unless it's going to be my work from day, work from day, work from home day on Friday or if it's on the weekends. So we're trying to cut back a little bit because you guys know how much money I spend on coffees. And so that is currently in the works in the kitchen. But this is my outfit for today. I have this sweater on. It's like a kind of like a ribbed knit short sleeved sweater that has these pretty gold buttons in the back that I don't think, well, you guys can kind of see them. Um, and this is from Cezanne. I saw this online and thought that it would be perfect for work, but then also anything that I just wanted to look a little bit like simple but elevated because it has that little hardware detail on the back, but the front of it's obviously pretty plain. So because it's plain, I put on my pleated skirt. I got this in my most recent mango haul and I'm so excited that I'm already wearing it. This is a really good piece to wear in the summertime because it's very professional and at the same time, it's like completely open obviously. So it's very like ventilated you're not gonna sweat on your commute and it's elasticated too so it's super comfortable and then my shoes are little like patent like tie up <laughs> loafers that these are like one of my favorite pairs of flat shoes to wear to work it's either these or my loafers that I normally wear 
and I just feel like so proper and girly in these and I'm obviously wearing all black because that's what we do at my company. It's not a rule, but that's just kind of how we tend to dress. And then my watch is the one from Coach. It looks like a very classic like everyday watch and so I decided to wear that one with my all black outfit. So this is the look. My backpack is getting packed up right now. That's my lunch sticking out of the top of it. We're also saving money there. And I am going to head out to the office. So I'm going to end this vlog off here because I know I had a couple of updates for you guys and we had a whole Zara haul mixed in here. So I don't want it to be going on for too, too long. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the kind of like nighttime chill feel in this one, just because it's very different from me being out and about and going around the city. Um, but I will obviously still do that as well. So make sure you guys are subscribed. I don't want you to miss any of my upcoming videos. And I hope to see you all soon.